What's going on everybody? I am in need of a foot switch for a Carvin X100B amplifier, an old style one. It looks like this and it has the uh, XLR um, connector. Whoops. Um, so if there's anybody that watches a channel that has one of these that uh, wants to sell it to me or uh, maybe you're capable of building one that would be very cool too uh, one way or the other I, I need one um, so yeah I figured I'd put that out there see if one of you guys happens to have one laying around that you want to sell or like I say if you want to build me one uh, which brings me to Carvin I know I'm late to this party but uh, as a lot of you guys know, Carvin is, um, they've gone out of business. Uh, they announced it about three weeks ago, and uh, I just went to their website this morning to uh, see what's, you know, if I get any deals, because I heard they're having closeouts and clearance and all that, so went to the website this morning, and uh, basically just about everything's out of stock. They may have some PA stuff left. So, uh, if anybody's looking for stellar deals on stuff, Carvin's always uh, pretty good quality stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Carvin X100B amp. I've used it forever. Let me turn this light off. I know you guys probably can't see very well because this light's off. And now the fucking dog wants to come in. Let me put you guys on pause for a second. Dog didn't want to come in. He is concerned that the cat is close to his food bowl. <coughs> anyway, um, yeah, Carvin uh, gone out of business. Um, apparently, it's not going to affect Kiesel or anything like that. It's just their electronics uh, division, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, like I say, I'm the I use the X100B amplifier, but I use the older models, and so it really doesn't affect me. Uh, I'd never try to reissue. I've always wanted to, but uh, I guess if I'm going to get one, I'm going to have to buy used from now on. So, anyhow, so that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, I bought that last uh, head, and it didn't come with a foot switch, so now I'm looking for one, and I'm having a really hard time finding one. They have, I found one with like a MIDI connector, but mine's not that. It's the three-prong... Three prong, um, XLR connector, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, other than that, it's Halloween. Uh, dogs will be happy tonight when they get to go trick or treating. All that good stuff. Um, been a lot going on in politics. Uh, Russian collusion and fake news and fake stories and people who actually broke the law or whatever. And everybody, all the liberals are thinking Trump's going to get impeached and all this, and it's just not going to happen. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> you know, the other day he, Trump did what he said he was going to do. He, um, we knew he was going to do it. He announced the public health crisis or something to that effect regarding, uh, opiates, heroin, uh, all that kind of stuff. And the fucking media, you know, the media instantly, you know, they had nothing good to say. All they said, well, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. You know, because it's not enough, because why? Because what did Barry and St. Obama do about the opiate problem? I'm letting you think. You know, it, it, everybody knows it's not enough. I would have loved to see him declare it a uh, national health disaster and, and treat it the way they treated uh, the H1N1 uh, flu a few years back. But, uh, you know what, it's a start, and um, and that's good. You know, they're... Now, see, I have I have a kind of a strange outlook on this stuff. I'm, I'm really for treatment programs, and I'm 
for somebody doing something to help people who are addicted to drugs and don't want to be addicted to drugs, you know what I mean? Because there are people who really struggle with it. And, uh, you know, they, they really, they don't want to be the way they are. Uh, and, and they have a really hard time, you know, hanging on and, and living a life of either moderation of, or sobriety. And uh, unfortunately, with addicts, there really is no uh, living a life of moderation. It's, it's pretty much either you're going to be what you are or you're going to be sober. Um, on the other hand, personally, I think all drugs should be legalized. I think everything should be legal. And I'm not talking about crazy anarchy stuff here. What I'm saying is that um, as far as prescription drugs go, uh, you know, it should stay the same. Your doctor writes you a prescription, you take it to the pharmacy, your insurance covers it. However, I think that if you want to get whatever you want to get from the pharmacy, you should be able to go there. Of course your insurance does not pay for it if it's not prescribed by a doctor. But you should be able to get whatever you want and pay cash for it, sign some type of waiver that says, hey, look, this is not under any type of medical advice so that people can't be sued. Um, I just, I think that uh, it's a better way to go. I think it would free up a lot of money as far as this drug war that we're fighting. Um, and I know that, you know, a lot of you guys, the first thing you're going to say, well, then you're going to have drug addicts everywhere. And well, yeah, for a time, but eventually these people are going to die. And um, this kind of goes back to natural selection is, you know, do we really need these people in our society? You know, people that are on a mission to die, you know what I mean? Uh, really, when somebody's going about the business of killing themselves, you're not going to stop it with a drug war or anything else, you know? So, I mean, yeah, it sounds kind of cold, but on the other hand, the big picture is that we would have a better society, I think, on the other end of that, because, you know, then we would have people who, you know, we would only have people who were not a drag on the economy, a drag on society, a drag on their family, a drag on themselves, and, you know, it, uh, all that goes with addiction. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. I, I think that drugs should just be legalized and uh, let nature take its course and it, it will be what it's going to be. Um, that's just how I feel about it. On the other hand, you know, yeah, the people that get involved in stuff that, uh, you know, they realize after a you know, relatively short period of time that they, uh, they don't want anything to do with it anymore, we should be able to help these people, you know, it, it, treat it as any other medical illness, you know, just like they treat cancer or anything else. Um, you know, if they go back to drugs, then I mean, it is what it is, but uh, I really think that, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, really needed the help, and, and I, I know people, personally, I've known people who have died, and, um, died because they were addicts, they went through treatment, relapsed. You know, this is a, there's a whole huge topic that goes along, you know, a whole big, not topic, but uh, a huge long conversation that goes on with this because, you know, statistically it takes so many rehabs to get a person to stay sober long term. And uh, again, I've seen people go through treatment, relapse, and then, but seek treatment again and not be able to get that treatment by the time they got the treatment they overdosed on or, you know, died one way or the other. So it's a sad thing, you know, it really is. It's, um, it's a sad thing to watch, uh, especially when people have children and, and things like that. I mean, you, you back in the, uh, 
Now, now here's where I kind of get people say, oh, well, you're a conspiracy theorist. I guess you can call it what you want, but, you know, you look at things like cocaine and how it took off. And cocaine, you, you saw a lot of wealthy people using it. And, you know, obviously you saw that there was a lot of money to be made in it. And then crack was developed. And... You know the the whole it was like a big ad on TV every night on the news that you know it's cheap it, it only costs five bucks you know it's it's sweeping the nation you know I guess it's kind of no uh, no big surprise that you know crack took off the way it did and, and crack just devastated people just the city of Detroit is a perfect example of of how crack cocaine just devastated people I'm a Normal, regular person, working person, man, they, they got kids, a house, two cars, a boat, a vacation home. Six months later, they're living on, in a fucking box. I mean, it just destroyed people. You know, and that kind of settled down somewhat, it seems like. But then it's like, as soon as we went to war with Afghanistan, all of a sudden you started seeing the heroin ads popping up. The, the, the news was telling us on a daily basis that... Oh, people are turning to heroin. People that are were addicted to Oxycontin and Vicodin are now turning to heroin because guess what? It's cheaper and it lasts longer. You know, now we have this massive opiate epidemic on our hands. You know, a hundred times worse than it ever was. You know, heroin's always been around. You know, there's no, there's no debating that heroin has always been a a big problem, you know, as far as drug use in the United States goes, but I don't think it's ever been the problem that it is today. I mean, it's, it's just, it, I mean, around this area, we have, there's a, a city south of here called Monroe, and for a long time, that was the, the heroin capital, they called it. It was basically, it was, had the most overdoses in the country. You know, and it's not a very big city. And that city is right on Lake Erie, and at one time it was gorgeous, and now it's just fucked up. I mean, it's not terrible like a fucking ghetto, but it's it's definitely changed massively in the last 15 years, you know, 10, 15 years, so. Yeah, so Trump uh, did what he did, and uh, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, I'm starting to hear conversation about the economy and whether we're going to see a uh, market correction. But now I'm not hearing the word correction so much as I'm hearing uh, market crash. Um, you know, the market is going to correct itself typically every 10 years around that time frame. Uh, but now we're starting to hear talk about market crashes and things like that, which is kind of scary, uh, depending on how you're invested. Um, I mean, if I were invested aggressively, uh, the way I used to be, I would probably start tightening up my investments a little more conservative, you know, just based on the talk, um, in that, uh, media realm in the markets and stuff like that. It's kind of scary, but, you know, it, it goes on to everything. Anytime anybody tells you they're going to make you a whole bunch of money real fast, you know, you, you need to turn around and run in the other direction. Just run, because it's not going to happen. Um, you're going to get, you're going to lose your ass big time. You know, be smart. Investing is, is it's not complicated you know, I, I would, I'm going to say what every other person says, you know, it, it, do open yourself an IRA. If, if you haven't already, get yourself an, open an IRA, go talk to somebody, a decent company, a solid company, don't, you know, go with some, if it's too good to be true, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. So get yourself an IRA with a decent company. And even if you're, even if you put ten dollars a week in it, do it because over time it's it's really incredible uh, how that stuff builds. So 
Anyway, I guess that's my random thoughts for today, but uh, mainly the reason I, I uh, wanted to post this video is for that, uh, to see if any of you guys have a uh, carbon foot switch for the old style X100B with the XLR input, output, or if you can build me one, um, that would be great too, and, uh, and I'm willing to pay for it. Um, I've seen one online on eBay that claims that's what it is, but it doesn't look right, and it's like it, it's like a hundred bucks or something. And it, it's not that I'm worried about spending a hundred bucks. I just I don't want to spend a hundred bucks to get something to have to ship it back and all that other stuff. And then there's like no reviews on it or anything like that. So anyway, that's my random thought for today. Happy Halloween, everybody, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.